Sup y'all, Tracy here. Um, I want to start this video by just saying a huge fucking thank you to all of y'all out there for subscribing and watching my videos. I honestly, when I started this, I didn't, I didn't expect anybody to really want to watch me do anything, like play games or give my opinions. Like I didn't feel like anybody. Why would anybody care what I thought? You know. But now I see, like, like y'all, all, all y'all care about what I think. And so I get so many comments and support and so much fucking love from y'all. It makes me just, I just get up and the first thing I want to do is make videos for you. No matter what. Like, uh, today, for example, I just woke up like an hour ago. Uh, my allergies are kind of being a bitch. I said it in one video, but I'm allergic to animals. I still have animals, so obviously that's a conflict of interest, and occasionally my allergies get really bad. But as long as y'all still want to listen to me, even when I sound kind of like crap and look kind of like crap, I feel like I look kind of like crap, then I'm going to keep pumping out videos. Uh, I was inspired, like, like so many of you. There's like 160-something of you now. 160 human beings on this planet maybe not only on this planet I can't be sure there's no aliens that follow me and if there are you're fucking welcome subscribe yeah cool I support aliens but yeah thank you guys so fucking much that's just how I wanted to start this video because Honestly, it hasn't even quite sunk in. I feel like it happened really fast and like there's so many of you guys and, and I'm just so appreciative for every single one of you guys and every comment and all y'all people that are following me. I'm not, I'm not ever going to be one of those fucking people that just forgets y'all so don't worry about that. Y'all are fucking awesome and I love you guys. We are here to watch another prepare to cry video. That is what's on our agenda today. So I'm prepared to cry. That's gonna be fun in a depressing, fucked up, morbid way. Let's get it. Okay. This is Dark Souls Story Oscar the Fateless. Already sounds depressing as fuck. Like I said in the last video, I'm not entirely up on it. I can't even say I'm up on the lore at all. Like, some people know some of the lore, some people are obsessed with the lore, some people are idiots, and I fall into the idiot category. I don't know very much about Dark Souls. I didn't get into it until Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne, and even then I played it like a hack and slash game. I didn't necessarily, like, even Diablo 3, like, I played Diablo 3 through, like, a hundred thousand times, and I don't even know all the names of the places or the bad guys or anything. So, it takes a long time and a lot of studying for me to really know all of the information. So, I guess that's what we're here to do, right? Today, we are going to learn about Oscar the Fateless, who... The word Fateless doesn't bode well for the guy. Like, that already sounds like he is screwed. If he has no fate. Yeah, he's fucked. So basically, um, his story is going to be depressing as shit. Let's get it. Those who are afflicted with the dark sign live forever, locked in a constant state of death mm, and revival. Live forever. But immortality isn't seen as a blessing here. It's labeled a curse, and with good reason. Death is replaced by a form of insanity, a state where humanity is lost and the being becomes hollow. They no longer have the a will hollow. to retain humanity to maintain yeah, their body or their that's mind. that's what we were. Hollowing is a constant process. But hollow is what happens when you die reached, enough times. Humanity cannot be restored. We meet Oscar of Astora just before he reaches that point of no return. I can feel it coming. It's so easy to forget Oscar's role, but meeting him is arguably the most important thing that happens to you. Without him, you would still be locked away. He goes to the trouble of finding a key to your cell. Aww. But why? I don't know. Well, there's a reason. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. This is a saying passed down through Oscar's family, but it's more than just a saying, it's clearly a prophecy. 
It says that the undead who escapes the asylum to the land of ancient lords will learn the fate of the undead, something humanity is desperate hmm. to know. This prophecy is why Oscar is in the asylum, because if he can leave the asylum, then perhaps he'll be included in the prophecy. And if he's uh... a part of the prophecy, then he may become the one who is supposed to learn the fate of the undead. But he can't be sure that it's him. There are hundreds of other undead locked away in the asylum. So, while he's on the roof, he attempts to let undead out of their cells, hoping to kickstart the prophecy. Got you. But there's something else on the roof. The oh. asylum demon guards the prison. Have you ever wondered why you find Oscar dying in a closed cell? There's only one entrance, and that's a hole in the roof. Because he's locking he himself in? This room by the asylum demon. Oh. Oh. You are a godsend to come he's this smashed moment. into there. I wish to ask something of you. Oscar tells you the prophecy and hollows with the knowledge that you might be the fated undead to leave the asylum. And he's right, you are. But what if Oscar had lived? Hmm. What if you had both left the asylum together? I don't know. Please, had to... come quickly. It is your fate. A pleasure to meet you. Sage Framt has spoken to me about you. I am Oscar of Astora. I wish to thank you for ringing the bell of awakening. I am preparing to leave. I will follow Sage Framp's instructions and will seek Anor Londo by way of Sen's fortress. May we each fulfill our respective purposes. I hope that we meet again somewhere. One day. Yeah, but he's fate. If you believe the he's prophecy, fateless. it means that either yourself or Oscar could be the chosen one. Yep. Both of you meet the requirements. Both of you left the asylum. But as time passes, it becomes more clear that you are the chosen undead, not Oscar. You're the one who rang the bells, and you're the one who meets the prophecy more strongly. I cannot just stay here. I must find my own purpose. Oh, but he's fateless. He has no purpose. Every undead chases a purpose. My child. For, following. for Oscar, it's different. He's searching for a purpose that's worthy of him. The undead. And this obsession is what will spell his tragic end. Damn. Well, how long is it? I can been? relate to that. Glad to see you safe, but be careful. That's, you must that's be the kind same of beautiful. As I. In search of the grave of Sir Artorius. This forest is the territory of a fierce band of thieves. They assault any and all who seek the graves. What if we were to join forces? How about that? If we work together, we may escape the bandits. Does that appeal to you? Very well. Let us keep our wits about us. One can always do with another pair of eyes. One can always do with another Things pair of eyes. To settled. I was right to partner with you. I will have a short rest here. Feel free to go on ahead. While both of you make it through the world, you triumph before Oscar and succeed where it matters. And finally, you make it to the kiln of the first flame. Oh, to snap! To dying god, or to finish him off. So those are the options Whatever at the end? You, choose, Oscar you can replace chooses the, the god or finish him? You need to be important. He opposes either choice you make. Whether you finish off the dying god so he or just the first flame hates whatever you do. So it was you. I had a feeling. I shall destroy you. As fate has commanded me, foolish pawn of Dark Stalker Karth and fiendish Dark Lord. Oscar, why are you so I mad? I choose to replace this dying god and rekindle the Age of Fire. I have waited for thee, foolish slave of the gods and pawn of Framt. I will kill you and become the true Dark Lord. Oh, Oscar, you're just kind of jelly, huh? And that's why you're fateless. So I guess you couldn't accept your fate. The truth. Your true fate. You're fighting it. Your fate. Whichever path you choose, Oscar opposes you in his desperation to be included in fate. A search for purpose is all that he has. That's kind of beautiful. And, and when I say kind of, I mean that's really beautiful. I feel like that's something that a lot of people can fucking relate to. A search for purpose. It's definitely something I can relate to. I've gone through it. Uh, terrible, terrible parts of my life where it's just like empty and no motivation and I just can't get out of bed and I have no meaning, no purpose to be alive. Not that I want to be dead or anything like that, but like no drive, no... uh nothing nothing that like propels me forward in life and gives me a reason and like honestly until I started this YouTube channel and all y'all started supporting me that's exactly where I was at in my life I had no purpose 
And so I can understand him. That's, that's really interesting. I didn't know... I understood hollowing as far as the game goes. It's like whenever you die a bunch of times, your face changes and you become hollow. That's about the limitation of what I, my knowledge on the subject. That helped a lot with understanding like a, uh, unless they have a purpose, they become hollow inside. And that's actually like, I mean, that's kind of like what I just said. I said I felt empty and like I have no motivation and nothing. Like empty and hollow are words that go side by side. So they are, they are empty, they're hollow. And yeah, that's kind of crazy. That's kind of interesting. It's really interesting, especially in a metaphorical, beautiful, like writing standpoint. Dark as fuck. Dark as fuck how his story ended. But it's kind of like a... I don't know if y'all played a Assassin's Creed Black Flag, but it's kind of like that story with Edward, where he's searching and searching and searching, and ultimately he loses everything because you have so... He has so much drive to be more than what he is that he doesn't necessarily appreciate or understand the real fate and then he destroys his fate. And I feel like that's exactly what Oscar just did. He fucking destroyed his fate. And in the end, it's really a complicated word, the word fate. Because did he destroy his fate or was that his fate? Was that what he was supposed to do all along? Like, was that always going to be his fate no matter what he did? These are the questions I ask myself whenever I listen to or read really interesting shit. Alright. Um, thank you again for who sent this to me. Uh, anybody in the comment section that knows all about Dark Souls and Dark Souls lore, feel free to fill me in on anything or send me videos or whatever. I would love to learn more about Dark Souls. Uh, it's always been such an interesting fucked up concept. Like, I know there's a lot of monsters and shit that's just so fucking dark as shit. And I love that kind of stuff, so, yeah, feel free to send in information, anything that you want me to check out, any videos, and, yeah. Fill me in on the blanks, because I know I'm probably fucking a lot of this stuff up. Alright, like, comment, subscribe, share, etc, etc. Peace out.